Hello and welcome coders to the Sky Coding. So from today onwards, we are going to start a videos on the new technology that is a Snowflake. It is a basically a data cloud platform and there will be a complete series of Snowflake videos. Okay, so we will do Snowflake from the scratch level. Okay, you don't have to be any knowledge of Snowflake. We will be doing the Snowflake from the scratch level. So the things which we are going to cover in this Snowflake series, we will first see some theory part, some practicals and we will also do some of the real time project scenarios okay so please subscribe our channel to not miss any of the updates of this snowflake series as i have also checked the youtube there are uh, less videos on snowflake series so i thought that i should also create the snowflake series video on the youtube so that everyone can learn snowflake for free so for this series for this video you don't have to pay anything this is a complete free series and guys we will be providing some of the snowflake notes so that you can use them for the future purpose okay so let's get started the snowflake series okay and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel so the question arises why we use snowflake why snowflake comes into the picture earlier we are having lots of databases okay such as sql oracle plsql s2 database there are lots of databases available then why snowflake comes into the picture okay so that's answer i am giving you okay so snowflake is a cloud data platform and these other suppose that you can compare oracle to the snowflake okay so for the oracle and the sql we have to install simply one software one application in the local machine Machine, then we can access that and there we, we can't load the data from the cloud providers such as amazon s3 aws azure or a gcp okay so the snowflake is a cloud data platform it is a basically a SaaS software as a service you don't have to install any external software in your local machine any application in your local machine you have you you can simply access the snowflake from a simple browser also okay you can simply open the browser and you can access the snowflake and it runs on the public cloud okay public cloud premises okay so that's why snowflake comes into the picture it is a data cloud platform like as aws it is aws is also cloud data it is a cloud platform okay so snowflake is a data cloud platform where we store the data and everything will be managed by the snowflake only so guys uh, let's get into our some of the introduction about the snowflake okay so we are going to learn the basic snowflake concepts and let's uh, talk about some of the prerequisite before learning the snowflake okay so prerequisite we can say that uh, you must be having some of the sql knowledge such as uh, you can uh, say that uh, dml ddl commands you must be knowing and some of the joins table joins inner join left join and these are the joins and some of the functions also okay of this sql knowledge and some of the database knowledge is also required to learn the snowflake okay because it is a data cloud platform so you must be having some knowledge about the snowflake series also so in this series we will do some of the practicals plus theory plus some of the real time projects also so that you can understand how to how can we use the snowflake in the real time project suppose that take an example of the college okay in college we are learning c plus plus java and all these things okay but in the real time projects we don't know that how to implement that coding language what are the problems we face in the real time projects so that's we are going to learn in this series we will learn snowflake also and we will see some of the real time projects and what are the problems we face in the real time projects okay so we have to prefer to have a knowledge on the cloud also some of the knowledge of cloud services is also required but if you don't have any cloud knowledge then it's okay we will discuss on that cloud knowledge later on okay so take your time on the hands on okay we do lots of practicals in this series okay theory is also important but practicals is a very important thing because without practicals how can we implement the snowflake concepts okay in our real time projects okay so let's move ahead so the question arises that what is a snowflake okay so let's understand what is a snowflake so a snowflake is an analytic data warehouse provided as a software as a service okay so i have told you earlier that we don't have to install any application in our local machine it is basically a software as a service we have to simply open the browser and search snowflake and we can access the snowflake from there okay everyone can access snowflake from there so it is a data cloud platform and the second point say the snowflake provides data warehouse that is faster easier to use and more flexible than other traditional data warehouses okay so see there is a one term that is a warehouse okay so you must be knowing that what is a warehouse warehouse is a place where we kept a lot of things 
in at a single place suppose that there is a warehouse of mobile phones so they are having lots of mobile phones there and from the warehouse it will it is uh, selling from to the retailers distributors and all these things so this is a, a warehouse so snowflake provides a warehouse where we store a huge amount of data 1 terabyte 2 terabyte whatever you want and you have to pay for that to the snowflake okay so it is a very faster and easier to use and very more flexible and it is providing lots of features such as data cloning time travel backup sharing and all. there are lots of features which are available to the snowflake we will see in the upcoming series videos okay so it runs on aws s3 azure gcp platform so we can load the data so snowflake runs on the amazon s3 bucket simple storage service uh, you must be knowing and microsoft azure and the google cloud platform okay suppose that <coughs> one company is uh, using aws as their storage okay as their cloud storage okay and he wants to up update data he wants to load the data from the aws to the snowflake so snowflake provides these three platforms to connect okay so we can load data into snowflake from aws s3 azure and gcp okay and it helps in etl etl full form is extract transform and load suppose that i want to load data from the amazon s3 bucket okay amazon web services s3 bucket okay so for that first of all we will do the extraction and after that we will extraction means there is uh, there is uh, one concept of stage and snowflake okay so first of all we have to load data in the external stage and after that we will do the transformation and after that we will load load the data by snow pipe or the copy command okay so this is a, a these are some of the features available to the snowflake we will uh, learn in depth of this uh, loading snow pipe and all these things in the later videos okay we can create pipes visual dashboard is also available to the snowflake and and there is a uh, one more option data recovery is also there data backup is also there cloning their sharing is also available in snowflake there is lots of features which are available to snowflake data recovery means we can recover that historical data by the retention period and by time by doing the time travel we can take the backup by cloning cloning is there zero copy cloning is there sharing is also available there are lots of features which we will discuss in the upcoming series okay so let's move ahead so let's understand some of the key differentiator of the snowflake okay so suppose that this is a uh, this is a data cloud platform snowflake okay and it is having these all the features built it is a build for cloud inherits cloud power okay it is basically a cloud platform as we are knowing okay so it also inherits the cloud power okay suppose that i want to load the data from amazon s3 bucket microsoft azure or gcp so it also inherits the data inherits the cloud power also okay so there there, there is a unique architecture of snowflake okay what is the meaning of unique architecture next video will come on the architecture only okay in this video we are just simply simply seeing that what is snowflake what are the features available to the snowflake and we will be discussing all the features in depth knowledge okay? okay so i want to tell you about this unique architecture what is a unique architecture so there is a, a two types of architecture available in the snowflake that is one is a shared nothing architecture and there is a shared architecture where clusters are shared and and uh, on the other hand uh, clusters are not shared there is a only one so that's a different thing we will learn uh, architecture in our upcoming videos okay and decoupled layers there are there are independent layers available available in the snowflake there is uh, no relatable terms available okay suppose that this is my hand and this is my leg okay so a uh, hand is working different and leg is working different so these both are independent things okay so this is this is having a there are lots of layers in snowflake so these all layers are decoupled they are not coupled okay and it is having some unique features as i have told you time travel date zero data cloning data share time to by time travel <coughs> we we query the historical data and we can recover the his historical data by zero data cloning. We take backup, we, we do the data cloning for the uh, testing purpose and all these things available. We will discuss these things later on and the less management overhead. Okay. So all these things will be managed by Snowflake only. Okay. So these are the some of the features which I have told you in this video about the Snowflake and we will discuss in depth in our upcoming videos. Okay. So let's move ahead. Okay. So let's uh, see some of the key concepts. And after that, in the next video, we will see the architecture in one single video. We will see compute layer, service layer, and warehouse, virtual warehouse, and all these things we will discuss. Okay. 
So data warehouse is a cloud service. As I have told you, Snowflake data warehouse is a true SaaS offering. Okay, software as a service. So there is no need of hardware or physical for you to select, install, and configure, manage. So we don't have to install any of the software in our system, and we don't need any of the hardware and all these things. We can we need simply a browser and an inter internet connection to access the Snowflake. Okay, there is no software is required to configure and manage. Ongoing maintenance, management, and tuning is handled by Snowflake. Everything is managed by <coughs> Snowflake here. Okay, maintenance, management, tuning, and all these things. Okay, so it is saying that Snowflake completely runs on the cloud infrastructure. As I have told you, it is a data cloud platform. So means it is running in the cloud data platform. Okay, all the component of Snowflake services runs on the public cloud infrastructure. All the component of the Snowflake is running on the public cloud infrastructure. Okay, so every one can access from there. Okay, so Snowflake uses a uh, virtual compute instance for its compute need and. storage service for storage data so it is uh, there uh, i will be discussing in the next video about that architecture where there is a, uh, there are compute layer service layer storage layer on these things so i will explain you these thing there there you will better understand that what is compute layer what is storage layer so the the storage service is for storage data and compute layer is for computing there are virtual warehouses and all these things okay we will discuss later on in this uh, architecture video okay snowflake cannot be run on private cloud infrastructure okay so snowflake is running on the public cloud in infrastructure where everyone can access it okay and it is not running on the private cloud infrastructure on premises okay so these are some of the things which i wanted to tell you in this snowflake intro video okay so here we have discussed about the snowflake what is snowflake what are the features available about uh, available to snowflake what are the prerequisite uh, to learn the snowflake and all these things we have discussed in this video and the, we will do complete series of this snowflake series snowflake videos okay we will learn snowflake from the scratch level so don't worry you you must be having some uh, SQL knowledge that is needed. SQL knowledge is needed because it is a data cloud platform. So you must be having the SQL knowledge, database knowledge. Okay. So these are the prerequisite. And uh, in the next video, we will discuss about the Snowflake architecture, guys. Okay. And don't worry, we will provide you some of the notes so that you can use them for the future use. Okay. So. That's it, guys, for today's session. And meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial about the Snowflake architecture. Okay, guys. So bye, guys. Take care of yourself, and uh, meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial. And guys, don't forget to subscribe our channel, Sky Coding.